Well, it was late last night that the 25 year old victim police say was taken to the hospital and then early this morning they updated us and said that person has since passed away. The suspects suspects they believe it's two people here are still uh, on the loose. They're actively searching for those people and have been since last night. Now, let me give you an idea of where we are. This here is Klahani Drive. It's right near uh, Issaquah Falls City Road. In fact, if you're familiar with the area, we're standing right in front of the QS QFC that's local here. Now, take a look at this video. This was taken overnight as they were actively searching for this suspect. What police are saying is that the shooting was reported sometime after 10 p.m. Now, they believe those suspects broke into the victim's apartment. They say this wasn't random. They're currently investigating what the relationship might be. We spoke to the sheriff's department early this morning. Here's what they told us about their investigation. Two black male suspects forced open the front door by kicking it open, went inside. Uh, one of them shot the victim multiple times, and then they fled on foot a short time later. Now, as I said that this was reported after 10 p.m. last night, authorities are still on the scene at this apartment complex behind me. Uh, those suspects have not been arrested overnight. They did use canine helicopters to search for those two individuals. There was some um, concern or, or some thinking that they might have been hiding somewhere in the brush around the apartment complex. But again, there's still an active search for those two people. When we have more information, we'll be sure to provide it to you at home. For now, live in Sammamish, Callie Greenberg, King 5 News. Thank you, Callie.